Well, we designed this art table for both the children and the teachers combined. So children, toddler size, uh, perfect height with a nice steel tabletop, powder-coated steel tabletop, so magnets stick to it. Um, we, we wanted a, a magnetic attachment so that when the child is working on their artwork, instead of putting a big piece of tape across to hold the paper in place for them, we can use magnets. Magnets also allow you to have a paper roll underneath, pull that paper roll up over the table, and you can use the magnets to hold that big piece of uh, butcher paper. We've got several different cutouts on this for different size containers. We've got Dixie cups. We've got these deli cups, just the normal deli cups you can find at grocery stores, um, and they slide right in. And this is the part that's designed for teachers. We wanted to create a system for teachers to store materials. So you have your cheap deli cups with lids. You have materials that are stored in your deli cups. And you can stick these up on your shelf. And you can pull them down, pop off the lid, whatever the activity is for the day, pop them in. They say, oh, we want some flax seeds, or we want the crayons, or want the markers. Go over, take them off the shelf. Boom, they're, they're ready to go. So when is an art table not an art table? Or my question to all of you is, what else can we do with this art table? We pull in the activity tray. And what we've done here, are we've connected the magnets to the steel tabletop. And the steel bottom of, of this reflective tray hooks right to those magnets. So now we have a table that can be used with all sorts of different sensory materials. Bring in your soy, pour it in there, and the kids can really play. What I'm trying to help you out in the role of the teacher is to think of this table as having multiple functions. The possibilities are endless with children, so we would really love it if you thought of this table in many more ways than just an art table. It's an everything table.